How's it going, everybody? So I had a question about how to do some simple core work at home. And that raises, uh, for me, a big topic about how to actually strengthen the core properly. So in any position we are holding right now, in a kneeling position, this could be standing, sitting, lying down, and even while you're moving, our spine can go through a series of motions. We can flex forward. We can extend back. We can also resist extension, so there are lots of different ways to think about the forward and back motion in the body. We can also lean to the left or lean to the right, so we have a lateral flexion in the body. We can also twist or resist rotation as well, so lots of different ways that we can strengthen the core. Initially, what I want you to consider is learning how to move in different positions. Getting your spine mobilized is a great way to stimulate your abdominal system. So, very basic position is to come to a hands and knees position and learn how to move your spine through those ranges of motion we just talked about. So you have flexion and you have extension. And essentially what you want to think about or feel is how are my abs helping my body to move my spine. You can also go through lateral motion in a kneeling position just by looking at your side hip. And a fun one, but doable, is to try to roll your spine. So you have your tail and your head going in the same directions and obviously trying to do opposite direction as well. So really basic, not too basic, actually pretty challenging, but fun. Simple way to mobilize the spine in a kneeling position. Next, a lot of people have seen this one, but opposite arm, opposite leg, reaching. In this, the main idea is to lengthen. And by lengthening, as far as I can, you can see how my abdominal system naturally hollows into my body. So I can touch and reach, or I can alternate sides and reach quickly from one side to the other. This type of motion is starting to discuss more rotational stability. As we're switching from one side to the other, we don't want to see the body oscillating too much. Another great exercise for the front strengthening of the abs, that flexion and extension motion, would be your plank position. So extending your body nice and long, not rounding or dropping the hips, but trying to suspend your body using the length. So I'm lengthening through the top of my head, I'm pulling my shoulder blades down, away from my ears, I'm reaching back through my tailbone and my feet. Really fun, challenging variation here is to learn how to move your pelvis in a plank position. Really challenging, trying to maintain length throughout the rest of the body. Other fun variations to try, lifting a leg off the ground, lifting an arm off the ground, alternating opposite arm, opposite leg. So two really simple exercises to start to play with and master. Um, variations, there's lots of progressions and regressions. So if you have any questions on how to do these safely, if you feel any pain upon trying them, please do not hesitate to ask so you can make sure that you're doing them correctly. Have fun, and uh, again, anywhere around the house, you can get down and do these exercises for a couple minutes every day and have a major benefit of strengthening your core and supporting your spine with a good abdominal support system. Have fun.